Hey friends, welcome to Stocks and Crypto Plays. I'm talking about AMC stock. Here's the down low on the fraud that occurred with AMC stock. I want you to think about this very clearly, all right? Right before Adam Conman Aaron came out with the ape scam, AMC was at $25 per share, okay? He was on Yahoo Finance. I, uh, I showed you in my channel the video of it. Adam Aaron was on Yahoo Finance. AMC was at $25 a share, and he's talking about the ape scam, okay? He comes out with the ape scam and destroys retail shareholders. How? Okay, take a look, guys. He said that um, he wanted to pay off debt, right? So when AMC was at $25 a share before he came out with the ape scam, all he had to do was sell 100 million AMC shares at $25 a share, for example, that's $2.5 billion with a B of cash for AMC. Now you tell me, would, a would AMC shareholders support that with a yes vote? Absolutely. If they're going to say yes to having 90% of their shares stolen from them, which I don't believe they said yes, they rigged that vote and I proved it in my channel. But if they did say yes to that, don't you think they would say yes to... AMC diluting 100 million shares for $2.5 billion? Of course they would. But instead, here's what happened. Listen closely. Make sure you hit like and share this video with a friend. Here's what happened instead, okay, friends? Adam Aaron created the ape scam. On day one, you lost 40% of your AMC value. You know that, right? So then what he w decided to do was wait to the very bitter end after him and his hedge fund buddies colluded to get Ape down from over $10 all the way down to like a dollar. And then Adam Aaron sold below market value 100 million Ape to Antara Capital for 66 cents per share, right? So what do you end up with? Like $66 million, something like that, maybe 100 million bucks at the most. I mean, probably $70 million in that range. I'd have to go back and look at the paperwork, but it wasn't a whole lot, right? It was less than $100 million probably um, because he sold them at $0.66 cents and he sold $100 million, unless he sold $130 million, which I, I'm not sure. But anyway, $100 million at $0.66, cents, right? Walks away with $66 million approximately for AMC. He could have had $2.5 billion by selling that same exact 100 million shares of AMC. And then you're gonna say, wait, no, man, wait, wait, Ape is not AMC, they're not the same. Oh, they're not? Well, after Adam Aaron sold those for 66 cents per share to Antara Capital, Capital, and they rigged the vote with automatic yes votes in a clause in the contract that said Antara Capital had to vote yes to the AMC reverse split. It was in the paperwork contract Okay, in the negotiated deal, when when they made the deal that they had to vote yes to the reverse split. Okay, and not only that, there was a three proposal. So the other part of that was that AMC shares and, and Ape shares would be conjoined, and Ape would become AMC. Henceforth, Adam Aaron sold a hundred million Ape shares, which were actually converted into AMC. So he sold 100 million Ape shares, which were converted in AMC, I said it twice on purpose, for 66 cents a share. So we walked away with like $66 million, okay? We could have had $2.5 billion if he sold 100 million Ape shares at $25 a share. Now you tell me, how epic is this failure? Or is it not a failure? Is it collusion? Is it Adam Aaron colluding with the naked short sellers that had to cover? Was he blackmailed into it or was he paid? We don't really know why he did it, but he did it. None of this is financial advice. These are my personal opinions. Now, the other thing you want to think about is why is Adam Aaron getting paid $23 million a year to be CEO of a company that has negative income for the year? Negative income for the year. $23 million to him. And how much is the board making? We're just talking AA right now, okay? And you tell me, why did his salary go up um, significantly from 2022 and go up significantly from 2021 and go up significantly from 2020? The worse AMC does financially, the higher Adam Aaron's salary gets. We want these questions answered. Why is it this way? 
I just proven to you how fraud was brought upon the AMC shareholders. We should have had a short squeeze Moaz to the moon on AMC stock. 100% we were going to have it until Adam Aaron stepped in and colluded with Antara Capital and Citibank to destroy retail shareholders. And our own CEO did it to us, okay? If we had a CEO that was protecting us, this never would have happened. That's a fact. We would have got our short squeeze. But guess what? Adam Aaron is on record as saying he didn't want the short squeeze. He never wanted the short squeeze. On record of saying that, isn't he? All right, friends, comment below. I need to read what you think. Make sure you share this video with a friend. All right, make sure you hit like. When you hit like, you're supporting my message. You're not supporting Adam Aaron, okay? I appreciate you all. Have a great day.